Good morning, Grand Rising, Grand Rising, Grand Rising. A lot of energies out there. A lot of people feeling it. Um, I've had many, many people messaging me what is going on. <laughs> so we got an, a lot of interplanetary scintillation going on. You got a lot of movement on the tectonic plates, which is bringing energy up. And you got Jupiter bringing all of the in, all of the inverted colds within you, grand rising, grand rising. And so this is of all you got all of the inverted codes, all of the rest of the density within you coming up. And I know a lot of you are getting hit all at once with a whole lot of anger and rage and hurt and betrayal and lack and and all of that. And and this is everything that is still remaining within you of your emotional attachments to beliefs of good and evil beliefs to a distorted history and and more importantly y'all it's it's bringing up okay. where everything that you have not dealt with that you thought you had dealt with anything that keeps you in a polar an oppositional polarity of truth and untruth positive and negative light and dark good and evil sound and silence, a subjective and objective, collapsing, giving you opportunity to collapse it right back here to the heart. And so massive headaches are coming in for many of you. That is an, a, a realignment to, on the 21st, we brought in and completely brought online the new higher ascended frequency timelines that you had all moved into when the planet ascended. Again, this isn't a personal ascension. And this is a planetary ascension. This is Gaia's ascension. It's not ours, yours, mine, this, that, and the other. And so it makes it a lot harder because all of you are becoming aware at different stages because each of you are in different ripples of the awakening if we had everyone awaken at once it would have been chaos <coughs> excuse me and so a lot of this is is bringing balance and harmony between the truths of the ripples if you will and so anything that is not in alignment with the planet's ascension her ascended timeline of to December 2012 everything right now is is coming up to show you where you are misaligned not in alignment and where you're choosing not to be in alignment if you will this is where you're gonna see an even more rapid exponential division of broadband worlds if you will and so it's not comfortable, but you're bouncing as timelines converge, as timelines collapse. You're going to see, <clears throat> how do I say this? You're going to see where a lot of the narratives and stories that you guys have attached to. Um, for example, the 9.5 earthquake in Argentina the other morning that was completely taken off. This is what I mean by timeline collapsing. We have averted the Armageddon and Annihilation timelines. So where you, so many of you say you're being censored. You're being not given information and being held, withheld information mm -hmm. on purpose. Your governments are, collect, are corrupted, this, that, and the other. This is what you're seeing shift rapidly. Just like I'm going to use that Argentina earthquake. And then it was downgraded to a six. And this is where humans translate. And, and that has always been the problem of how you guys translate because of the frequencies that, 
that you bounce through this, that, and the other, and why there is such an opposition of my truth and your truth in the battle, especially in the light worker community. And where so many say you guys are being censored, you're being controlled, you're being this, you're being that, it's not, it's never what you believe it to be. And you have two worlds going on and you've had two worlds going on for eight and a half years. And it's not harp. It's all of those are just stories to keep you all distracted. Again, you have to bounce between two worlds as we shift in this world without you guys dying a physical death, if you will. And so where so many of you think that there's dark and evil and corrupted aliens that have corrupted this, that is you humans, you starseeds. You guys have for thousands of incarnations been looping in the exact same time loop. It's just modernized. It's no different. The story is no different than the story of ancient Egypt. It's only modernized. The story is no different than ancient Israel, and Greek mythology. You can go back all the way to the beginning of, of the 12th aeon of time of good and evil. And it is the exact same time loop. But people like to battle. And so now you guys you have to walk through all 12 aeons of time and space continuum or what you guys call the 12 disciples or the 12 zodiac signs the 12 constellations whatever you need to re label it as and so as we come out of this this year 2019 was was 2020 was the year of the final judgment 2021 is the resurrection 2022 is what is known as the return and so as we go through this last leg if you will leading to the unification of christ consciousness for it to return on the 26th of december all of that stuff that is not in alignment with the highest frequency timeline, if you will, of the ascended state of this planet. And anything that does not match that ascended state of unification is coming up in every single one of you. All of these are the inner ancient energies of the fall. Not only the fall of Atlantis, but the fall of Lemuria, the fall of Maldek. All of these energies are coming up because all of these keep you in a separation as far as time goes. As far as history goes, as far as the matriarchal and the patriarchal, which are mirrors of each other, separated, if you will. And so, for some of you, you're in spaces of bliss and ecstasy and, and manifestation materializing harvest if you will others are in a space of of deep purging and deep releasing and so this is bringing you fully online to where <clears throat> excuse me where your third eye and your two eyes become one eye versus seeing from a linear or just seeing through your third eye in meditation this that and the other and as that alignment or realignment in your consciousness has come in, it's going to feel like you're bouncing. It's going to feel like you're bouncing up and down, and it's going to be bouncing like this. And why is that? I've spoke about the 24th of December when Uranus and Saturn again come into a square off, a face off, if you will. The ancient past and the modern world and so you're in a you're you can liken what's occurring right now and what will occur through through december as we fully align 144 thousand 144 fully into a unified consciousness grid the straitjacket is going to keep being pulled anything that is not in alignment with your ascended self the ascended self that ascended with this planet in December of 2012. The straitjacket is going to keep being pulled until you willingly 
use your free will to give up separation, including truth and untruth. Light is information. Love births that light. And as long as you put a polarity to light, you will experience that polarity. Whether you call it light and good and evil, light and dark, whether you call it truth and untruth, there is no separation in the higher frequencies. Creator does not choose between its evil children and its good children. Creator does not choose between light and dark. It's only the humans. Love never fails. Humans do. And this is every place, if you have to put a label of failure, this is where you guys have failed to come into unification. These are energies and coding within you of what you chose to create separation with. And so, no, it's not comfortable for many. Um, as consciousness expands, that's why you guys are having headaches, a lot of heart palpitations, this, that, and the other, because light expands. And so, it's really, really helpful and encouraged to see where, again, you're not wanting to change, where you keep putting masks and disguises on to cover up what is what you're feeling. I have more people ask me, well, how do I feel? How do I feel into it? You know, humans have been dumbed down through your own choices. You guys have numbed yourself. And as those 355 sensory senses come alive, it's not comfortable. You know, it's never easy to, to accept responsibility in a world where you've been taught to not accept it. That you're not responsible for anything going wrong in your life when actually you're responsible for absolutely every bit of it. You know, it, I wish there was rogue aliens and Illuminati and Cabal that enslaved you. You know, it would make everything, especially the spiritual journey, much easier for you all. But the spiritual journey and awakening is not for the faint of heart. Until you can face your ugly self and all the masks that you've put on to hide how you feel inside, you're not going to get anywhere. And, you know, as much as it's easy to have something to blame and a scapegoat, there's no escaping the information that is held within your body. You put that information in there. And you can't blame that on no rogue alien or cabal or Illuminati. And that is everything that's coming up to show you, each and every one of us, where we have chosen to separate by our own actions, by our own behaviors, that it's only been humans that have chosen to lower their morality, their ethics, their principles, their integrity. And every bit of where that pretense to hide how you feel, to hide the lack of responsibility of how miserable your life has become, all because you choose to ignore how you feel. It's, you know, it's not hard to feel. You can get angry at somebody and project and say, I feel angry. And yet, when this stuff comes up and is triggered within, it's much harder to take that responsibility and say, no, I feel like this. And that is the lack of responsibility that everyone has had. They have suppressed how they feel. And so when you start the awakening journey, that's when you start to, in your throat chakra, starts to open. That's where, well, I have to stand up and speak my truth. The majority of your guys' truth is assumption and opinion. It's not truth of light. Why do I say that? Because light has no opinion. Light has no assumption. Light doesn't separate into my truth, your truth. Light has no emotion to it. It is information. Just like money is an emotionalless resource. Just like energy is an emotionless resource, it's you, the individual, that puts emotion to it. And this is what creates separation in the human world. 
and in these realms, if you will. And so all of this stuff is coming up for you to recognize because outside of skin suits, outside of your perception of your families being 3D and so on, awakened and so this, you have great love for the soul fractals. And this is a time for you guys to bring everything full circle and neutralize it and really not invest emotion into what is crumbling out here. Yes, you're going to see riots. Yes, you're going to see this. Yes, you're going to see that. Why? Because those of you that do have the divine spark of light within you spend more time and energy and waste more time and energy on trying to prove your worth rather than feel your unworthiness and release it from your vessels. Again, the battle of truths, the mm -hmm. battle of frequencies. And as you release this from within you, of course, we're going to experience it out here. Why? Because you're releasing it from your vessels and you're bringing it to the surface world where light is. And so this out here is going to escalate. I'm not even going to deny it. Why? Because you guys are releasing it from within you. It has to escalate out here. And so again, the straight jacket, as the straight jacket is pulled within, the straight jacket is pulled without out here seemingly making things more intensified out here more pressurized out here and it's not that things are getting worse what is occurring is that things are getting collapsed Saturn and Uranus alone the ancient ruler and the modern ruler and anything in between that is coming to this, to unification. And so as we move into that, into the end of December, if you will, in that third face-off between the ancient and the ancient modernized, that is where you're going to see, and, and this is what we're leading up to and why this is so challenging right now, anything that is aligned with there being a past, a present, and a future has to collapse. Your ascended self does not retain memory. Memory is karma. It means there's an energetic impression within you that has to come back because you've chosen a polarity. You have chosen something as bad, so you have to apply the polarity to it to neutralize it. You've chosen something as true so the untruth has to come in to show you to pull to neutralize the polarity and so as that straight jacket pushes you back into a tiny little box it's going to because there's less space and less space it's going to seem like it's heightened out here and again when you take away the imagery and you understand everything is energy, it's much easier to walk through all of this. And so, as the past and the future and the present collapse, as the above and the below and the surface world collapse into now, your guys' consciousness, you have two consciousnesses that are coming together, if you will, in, del in deleting itself. And it's not easy for a human mentality to shift from one of past, future, and the present into one of now, where the mentality alone will begin to exist out of time and timelessness to where eventually you will not even worry about the past or the future, if you choose if you choose this is where you're gonna see a lot of information come up and present itself that there's no such thing as a separation of frequencies that they all exist together in one again the battle of truths you can't be around somebody that's low frequency or low vibes or this that or the other again your guys's own distortions and so 
these next couple of months are not going to be easy. I've been saying this um, because it's bringing you into a space of unification here where this collapse and where this collapse into now. And so every bit of what you thought you have cleared, I've already cleared this, I've already walked through this, I've already this, it's going to show you every bit of where you have not walked through to gain wisdom you can't have wisdom oh you can put masks and disguises on and pr promote wisdom of others and claim it as your own but truly if you observe yourself you can see through it and this is where so many adopt information and then claim it as their own not realizing that they distort everything that they say, everything that they do, because it's not theirs. They have not walked through it to gain wisdom. Again, the battle of truths. And so everything is going to come up and continuously be in your face until you recognize that you and only you are creating division and separation. And you can pretend all you want on social media, how happy you are, how positive you are. But again, if you haven't cleared it and walked through it, the world can see what you cannot. It can see it through your sentences. It can see it in your personality. It can see it in your character. It can see it in every way. And if you are not in every way being authentic to your soul, you can see it in your wording alone. And so, <clears throat> it takes great strength and courage to learn to love yourself. And learning to love yourself does not mean that you're going to exist in bliss and ecstasy every moment. Because there's a whole spectrum of light, a whole spectrum of tone, a whole spectrum of sound within you. It's only humans that have labeled it as anger, as happiness, as ecstasy, as bliss. And so, as you, because you know, you're human, that which you have always lived as, your name, Sam, and Kelly, Tom, Dick, Harry. And your higher self are two different beings, frequencies of beings. And so, as your human ascends itself, as your higher self that you call light, and your higher self that you call shadow, as both of those ascended aspects of you come into the human, it's for you to claim none of them anymore. That's why you guys bounce. You're trying to be this ideation of perfection in the human of what you guys have been taught is perfection. You strive for perfection in your looks, in your words, in your jobs, in your families, in this, that, and the other. And then the ideation of when you awaken to what perfection and holiness means in higher frequencies. Again, limiting definition. You know, and as all of those come together, you will not be the same. It's not that your human is going into all of those past ideations and incarnations of your ascended light selves. So many people change their names to, to that which they have been. And... It's not for you to become a has-been. Has-been shaman, has-been ascended master, a has-been. You've already walked through those experiences. It's for you to integrate your ascended shadow self. It's still ascended and holy. It's just your shadow. It's for you to integrate your ascended light self. It's still a shadow. It's dead. Whatever version you call it. They're ascended, which means they're dead. Energy doesn't die, but characters do.
do. Roles do. And you're human. It's to bring all of those together, and whenever you have a trinity, you automatically have a brand new. And so, choosing one side of yourself, whether it's your human, whether it's your shadow, or whether it's your so-called ascended light self, is still separation because you're choosing one being better than the other, and it's for you to bring all three of them, again, that trinity, together to make a brand new whole. So yes, you're having to lose the identities of your ascended selves, your ascended shadow selves, and your ascended human self that you don't know that is fully ascended. So everything right now is going to push you to look at where you're holding on to the past in any way. The past being your ascended shadow selves of the seven heavenly echelon realms below. The ascended light self of the ascended echelon heavenly realms above. And the ascended human that in many ways is still asleep. Because it thinks it hasn't ascended. And so as those three come into unification and oneness just to die to all three of those aspects of self you're going to go through an exponentially in a rapid because you know we're going into october that only leaves three months so yes things are going to get crazy things are going to be bouncing yes you're going to have a lot of what you thought you have already cleared and walked through and this that and the other and I'm going to encourage you, you guys reject the mirror out here. You don't like it when someone tells you that you're in distortion. You don't like to hear that because the human ego, again, resides in a state of false perfection. Again, the only place perfection exists in what humans would label imperfection. It takes great courage and strength to be authentic and genuine. The reason none of you have felt true love or experienced it in your human realms is because of your ideations to what love is. You know, everybody thinks love, light, is positive, is ecstasy, is bliss. And yet, if you have a hairy Sasquatch type of person to the human perception, Oh, they're not good enough they're hairy they're not they're dark they're light and so all of those beliefs even down to the most minute is being challenged and will be challenged these next three months and so in order to experience the tr true love if you will Humans don't let people see their dark side, their hurt side, their their sobby side, their depression side or anything like that. They mask it. And that's why you guys have always had negative experiences in your relationships of love, this in your families and this, that and the other. You see, people with abandonment issues, they don't like it when people know them. Or get to know them intimate, intimately. Get to know their secrets inside. Their shame they hold. And in that. You guys reject. That's why you guys rebel against your family so much. 3D's well I don't resonate with him. Well then you're saying that there's something within yourself. You don't resonate with. Has nothing to do with the human world. Has nothing to do with the outside mirror. Learn to hear your words. Because truly, your parents, your siblings, your earth families know you intimately. They know your ugliness. They know your deceitfulness. They know you intimately and why you always abandon them. People with abandonment issues will always abandon those that get to know them intimately or start to know them intimately because you guys have lived in a in realms that reject 
and more importantly, deny the obvious. And so, this is going to show you loud and clearly where you reject, where you are in a space of non-acceptance of the outside world because you refuse acceptance within yourself. And you will always abandon, always, if you do not deal with your abandonment issues within. And this is why so many, well, how do I feel, Linda? How do I, how do I bring all this up and feel it? Humans have suppressed themselves, numbed themselves down. And, you know, confidence isn't in positive affirmations. Forgiveness doesn't come just because you have awareness and you can understand Forgiveness comes when you clear your emotional body and that's the one thing most people bypass because they only want to feel positive. They only want to feel happy. They don't want to deal with all these crappy energies or these crappy feelings. And so where you guys have blamed Creator, this outside world is Creator. How many of you still sit there and see good and evil? How many sit there and still say, Oh, you're low vibes, I can't be around you. How many of you sit there and still entertain duality and come on social media and pretend you're awakened and love, light, and positive, this, that, and the other? Again, showing you your polarity if you choose to see. Those with eyes to see, see. Those with ears to hear, <laughs> hear yourself. And so all of that is going to bring it full force where you're still copying others, trying and comparing yourself to others where you are trying to compete. All of that stuff is going to show you. Do we just accept all in us and others? Well, when you understand that this world out here is creator, that creator has weaved this world from all of our intentions, the thoughts and words that we put into the quantum field, especially all those thoughts and affirmations of positivity that in here is not aligned with what you speak, all that stuff comes up here. All of it will come up. So... If you can't accept all out here, if you still think that someone's low vibes, this, that, and the other, look within. Look at, look at the ideation that you have touched, attached to it. Look within and see the mirror and ask yourself, okay, why can't I accept that person the way they are? See, there's a difference between accepting people and not accepting their morals and behavior and how they treat you. I have more people try to manipulate me and when I put it back on them, they don't like it. And humans always blame people. Look at your, look at your stories out here of the corrupted government. How many of you make it about Trump or Biden or this or that? Instead of the actual behavior or integrity or the morality that's what you guys do to each other oh you're low vibes so I can't be around you it has nothing to do with vibes or frequency or the person in and of itself it's the mirror that you're reacting to it's the mirror that's showing you something within yourself that you're reacting to and that's why you guys can't accept each other. That's why you keep unconsciously or consciously creating more and more and more separation, even though you're convinced that you're coming into unification. Everything is going to ask you to see that because this world out here is creator's world. If you can see through your own layers of perception and truths. And you have rejected people. Look how many of you still reject your families. You make it about people. Oh, they're 3D. They don't get it. 
well, no, you're the one who's 3D and you're the one who don't get it because you're making it about the person. And it will never be about the person. That's how you guys create separation. And as long as you're making it about a person, this, you're blinded to yourself because you're making it about the person instead of accepting and loving the divine spark of the soul of the person you're making it about the avatar body and everything when you take it away from being a person instead of it being Tammy's fault or Diane's fault instead of it being Sasha you made me feel this way no one can make you feel any way no one. You choose how you feel. And why is all these feelings coming up? Because you suppressed them and haven't dealt with them. And no, it's never easy accepting that kind of responsibility. But in, that's the whole point of the awakening journey, is to come from a space of blaming a person and ignoring their behavior, their morality, their integrity, and condoning it, and yet blaming the person. All of you are innately good. However, look at your guys' behaviors, look at your moralities, look at your integrity. How can you say you're love light and you're these ascended masters and you're this and you're that? And yet you turn around and you say, oh, you're love vibes. I can't be around you. Separation. The higher ascended frequency worlds are not worlds separated by light and dark. That's only a mentality belief of the lower realms of separation and duality. So look where you're putting it on people. Instead of sitting there saying, Nicole, that's manipulation. Mariana, that's manipulation. See it for what it is and change it. Look at where you abandon yourself. Abandon creator. Again, this is all your guys' energies put together. And you guys haven't been putting out very good energies. Not before 2012. You didn't put out very good energies at all because you were asleep. And that's okay. But you have to accept what we have put out as an individual or as a collective. And changing from a reality mentality of where you have blamed people. How many of you still are blaming your family for being 3D? It's a blame. And... You are responsible for your mirror. You're responsible for how you condone behavior and make it about the person. How you condone separation and make it about the person. Because truly, if you can't see creator at all, you're not seeing creator at all. So how love light are you? Again, you don't have to accept people's morality, their behavior when it's harmful but don't make it about the person you can love the person fully you don't have to like the behavior but as long as you make it about the person you're the one creating separation regardless of what frequency you believe you are in and so that is all of this that's coming up all of this rage, all of this betrayal, all of this hurt, all of this everything is what has been held deep within. Again, from the fall of Maldek, the fall of Atlantis, the fall of Lemuria. And how do you resolve abuse, neglect, trauma from the family? Ask yourself. Beautiful. Ask yourself why you did it to them. See yourself. 
Lindy, you're telling me I abused myself. I'm telling you that if you see through the smoke screen, the imagery, you take it back, you're going to see that every single one of you have murdered children, raped children, murdered each other. You're going to find that the smoke screen of you being these gentle, angelic, beautiful, loving beings were the most ferociously mean people. This is a this this is a reflection of thousands of incarnations, yes. Where you guys have murdered people, where you have cut children's heads off, where you have done horrendous things. Horrendous. And yet, because you don't remember, you wear masks that you guys are these great people. Yes, as much as you're great, beautiful beings, you're also not very nice people either. Have any of you guys ever told a little white lie, a little half-truth? Have you ever told your kids or lied and said, I don't want to talk to somebody, just tell them I'm not home? Tell me how that is love light. Tell me how that is holy. Tell me how that little tiny act did not contribute to this world out here. Because if you know anything about energy, then even this little white lie that only has this little much intent to it, when it ripples out and then it ripples back called an echo, it comes back even harder. So all of those nobody will see and nobody's around and all of this magnifies when it ripples out and when it comes back. So yes, we're responsible for every bit of this corruption, every bit of this world. And I know people don't like to believe that. I know they don't like to accept that. But energy out is energy back. And this out here is always going to be magnified. Why? Because it's a collective of us all. Not just your individual energy. And authenticity and genuineness only comes when it's from here felt. Not just an ideation of an affirmation. And so... All of that misalignment is coming up and presenting it to each and every one of us. And as it's presented to us and you guys neutralize it and zero point it, it comes out here to the collective. So this will always be more intense because this is a combination. This is a quantum field reality out here that you guys have spent your whole lives distrusting because you didn't like it. Absolutely, it is the same collective, Campbell, Danielle. And that's what you guys are coming into. Even what you call dark is still light. It's only a bunch of light particles put together into a form. So as you face your own belief systems exponentially and most rapidly these next couple months, especially these next couple weeks, as the full integration of the new trajectory timelines come online, the new realities, yes, you're going to have a lot of headaches. And yes, you're going to have a lot of discombobulation. Yes, you're going to have a whole lot of stuck energy come up. And as that comes up, instead of rejecting it, Instead of saying it's low vibes, instead of saying it's dark, it's evil, it's this, you want the key, guys, I'll give you the key. You have to learn to love the very demons that you hate, whether they're within or whether you believe they're without. It's for each and every one of you to love your family unconditionally, not sit there and say, I don't resonate. Resonation and discernment is the same thing as separation. Because here has none. Here loves regardless. Here 
We'll walk through every bit of every bit of the density in the fire. But how many of you will walk with each other through their darkness, through their low vibes? Very few. Again, it's called rejection. It's called abandonment. And you guys abandon your families consistently, including your soul family, because they are that which is all around you. You see, we've never been separated from you guys. But you guys reject us consistently. Why? Because you guys can't see through skin. Because you're not here that can connect to the soul. And right now, this outside world, which is creator in all ways, it's for you guys to love it. It's for you to trust the world again. Because if you don't extend trust to the world, then the world ain't going to shift because you guys are the ones that shift it. And if you really want this story out here to shift, then it's high time you guys look at where you're separating yourself. Through frequency, through vibes, through distorted beliefs of what light is. Because truly, would you like Creator to not choose you as being holy? Because you keep choosing that Creator is evil and demonized and corrupted. If you guys can't learn to love the reflection, then how can you truly love yourselves? You know, if you're not in a relationship you don't want to be in anymore, then look at why you're still in it. You know? Are you leaving because you're blaming it on the person? You know? Because, you know, guys, that's why you guys have divorces and everything else. Because you guys only got to know them on a positive side. And when you actually move in with each other, marry each other, this, that, and the other, you fall out of love because then you get to see them at their worst. When they get sick, when they have a breakdown, when they this and when they that, you've never allowed your guys yourselves to truly love because you've never allowed yourselves to really get to know yourselves. So all of your relationship dynamics are changing. You know, and when you understand it's not the world that needs help, it's your mind. It's a whole different ballgame. And when you realize and really realize with real eyes, see, how you blame your family. I mean, look at your own judgments. Well, my family's so 3D, I don't resonate with them. Nah, your soul is showing you a mirror, honey. <laughs> Simple as that. Because you're making it about the person. And, you know, humans are shady. Simple as that. Humans are shady. Because they're comfortable with putting masks on instead of sitting there saying, no, I'm having a really shitty day and I'm dealing with it and I'm applying love to it. So, you know, it's all good that I'm having a shitty day and I'm not positive right now. You have to be authentic with yourself before you're going to be authentic with anyone. You know, and that's one thing about me is I'm always very authentic with myself. If I'm having a shitty day, I have, how are you, Linda? I'm having a shitty day. How are you? I'm not going to sit there and tell you I'm good <laughs> when... I'm having a shitty moment, you know, but I'm not afraid because I don't give a shit about people's opinions about me. You guys care about people's opinions. That's why you blame people instead of, of being authentic with yourself. You know, you blame people, you make it about people. And let me tell you, it's not about people. So... All of that is going to come up and is coming up. And 
the straight jacket is tightening as the box that you guys have kept yourselves in shrinks, bringing more and more and more until you explode within yourselves. So, you know, make it about integrity, morality, and ethics and the masks and disguises you all still put on. Look at your ideations and your beliefs that are attached to light and dark and and really look at and she you know for two years I've had a whole lot of people here and you know they don't like it when they're showing themselves because of their own manipulation and almost every single one has made it about me instead of about their behavior and their morality and their ethics and that's what has to change truly if you're making it about another instead of about the manipulation that we have rejected each other through thousands of years that's where you shift because the world isn't the evil it's each one of us that sit there and reject it because we make it about the body, about the person. So yeah, a lot's coming up because it's it will never be about the person. It will always be about behavior and action. So dance through these energies. Allow yourselves to feel because truly 355 sensory senses that have been numbed down because you guys suppress how you feel you guys don't like to feel the hurt you don't like to feel the shame you don't like to feel because that's what we've been conditioned and as your feelers come online remember how you guys say well I'm too sensitive I can't go out in the world now nah, that's just your that's just your sensories coming online you're always going to be sensitive to the world. That should never stop you from loving the world. So as your 355 sensories come online to merge fully with your five physical senses. Shit is uncomfortable. <laughs> In so many ways. <laughs> but so necessary for you to truly come into a space of knowing nothing and yet sensory aware of everything so yeah your sensories are coming alive why because you're pumping your heart alive to become a brand new being so look at where you're still holding on to parts of you that are old so keep dancing y'all it's not gonna be easy as you become so so in tune with your 355 sensory senses that is only withheld in the, the emotional body. John, the 355 sensory senses are located within your guys' emotional body. You have five bodies. Your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and etheric. And as the veil dissolves, truly disintegrates out here, you guys have been taught to suppress all of your feelings, all of your emotions, to keep all your dirty laundry secret, hidden, this, that, and the other. And in that, you guys have denied, abandoned, and rejected how you felt. And it doesn't mean how you feel is, oh, Nicole, you're just a bitch and I don't like you. But I bless you, beautiful. Nicole sitting here having coffee. She came to visit. And uh, clerk council and delete that. <laughs> it, it's not that, you know. And it, when you get triggered, those sensories get numbed down. That's why you can't see in the back of your head. That's why you can't see out here. That's why you you have peripheral vision but you can't see what it is well when you join these two eyes with this one and have one eye you can see just like what's the little character on 
R two D two. Is that the little uh, white yeah. character? Yeah. R two D two. You know how he can spin its head around yeah. and see yeah. everything. Like you guys really can do that when you have your three hundred and fifty five sensories activated. And so, where you ask me about your three hundred and fifty five sensory, as you guys clear your over overlays, as you release all of the suppressed emotions that you've kept within you that has kept you in this time loop of karma if you will cellular memory that's all memory is karma your light bodies don't hold memory as you go through that and you release and you release and you release that's why your journeys take so long Belinda I've gone through this why is it coming back up must be somebody else's no it's yours honey <laughs> It's just another layer because you know you have to walk through the layers of your human the fractal and then you start walking through the layers of your soul and and then you have to walk through both your shadow and your light shelves and bring them in and now you're going through truly we're getting ready to enter into to the dark night of the world soul and so you guys have walked through your fractals you've walked through the fragment of you of a soul monad or a tribe then you guys have to walk through the dark night of the soul of the full monad and now you're having to walk through you know the soul monad integration of of all 12 soul monadic tribes if you will a lot of healing has taken place in eight and a half years you guys have done an amazing miraculous job and as those 355 sensories come alive, they hold a lot of information that the five physical senses that the mental records from. Your mental only records from five physical senses. It does not record from the 355. The 355 sensory senses holds a lot of information. 95% of your brain is unconscious to you. It holds a lot of information. And so the 355 sensors, sensory senses, that's really what you're awakening. That's really your spiritual journey. And those are about to fully come online. And that can be shocking. That can be devastating. That can be so abrupt that it causes you to spin. And so the discombobulation, the battle, why you get triggered so easy because another layer of 355 bits of information comes out. And so, yes, you're becoming more sensitive, but please, from my heart to yours, don't blame it on the world. Don't blame it on each other because you don't understand or understand sensory just know that as you come alive it is never comfortable and yes you guys are coming alive not as your ascended self not as your ascended shadow selves not as your human self but truly if you allow it a whole brand new person a whole brand new being just in the same avatar of what you call yourselves let yourself become a whole brand new person, a whole brand new being. You don't need to choose a separated aspect of yourself because, yes, the glory of your ascended light self in the higher dimensional frequencies, and yes, the glory or what you guys call the detriment of your ascended shadow selves. It truly, why choose any of them when you can choose to unify all and become somebody completely different someone completely different and that truly is being born anew not reborn why do you want to be born into another time loop reborn no why do you want to be rebirthed <laughs> rebirthed what into another re <laughs> reincarnation no allow yourselves to become to integrate all three 
and to not choose any one of those three, not your ascended shadow, your ascended light, nor your human fractal. Allow yourself to become brand new. And that is where your heaven is, being born anew. Now, some of you want to choose to be rebirthed and reborn, and, and I'm okay with that. I'll love you regardless. But allow yourselves to truly be born anew. So on that, I love you. That's what's going on. It's going to increase, especially these next couple of weeks. It takes seven days to fully integrate. We're on day four of your new online realities that you've been living consciously or unconsciously for eight and a half years since this planet ascended. So let your consciousness shift. It is never easy, but it is so worth it. So, so much love and blessings from my heart to yours, y'all. I got to get on the road. I'm driving to College Station, Texas today to meet a couple of our, our other family members. I love you guys, too. Have a most blessed day. And no, it's not about our bodies. It's not about our characters. It's not about our personalities. It will always be by the code of honor that we choose to live by. Have a great day, guys. So much love and blessings. Bye-bye now.